I need to use a thin brush now because I've got to do one of the antennae. But if we use that purple now, we should end up with quite a nice dark. And we can go back to the other brush again and just tart up some of these colours a bit. Gives it that nice and thin, that little bit of vibrance that we didn't have before. Separate those petals out. And we're probably about there, you know. Well, there we are, there's our male blue butterfly. A bit of drawing to do here and there. It's the odd petal shape to bring out. And there we are. I think we can finish it that. <laughs> Again, I'm going to paint it upside down at first because it's the easiest way to get at it and for you to see what I'm doing. All I'm doing again is going to paint out the light coloured, sharp edged, in focus flowers of the Buddleia here, which at this scale look huge like daisies, but of course they're not in reality. Right, well, we'll continue this series now uh, with the small tortoise shell here. Um, and again, we've got the masking fluid already on, the background ready for wetting to wet, so it means I've got to paint the butterfly first. And we'll start with those lightest colours first. In this case, a very, very thin tint of um, raw sienna on these bits of wing here, which is slightly darker towards this top edge here. So once I've got that thin glaze on, we'll darken that edge slightly. Into that we've got some some orange to make. I'm going to use my cadmium orange again. Should be quite a nice orange for this and drop in some of the orange we were using earlier that we made by using the rose. I'm going to paint the whole of these wings with this cadmium orange first of all very thinly. There's black in those dark these areas anyway so and I want to just have some of the areas that are very light cream which means I can lift out, I can take my brush, dry it and lift that area of paint out a bit. Look as easy as that by mixing again as I did last time some rose with the which gives me my lovely orange and it wants to be a little bit variegated and it's the same over here blend in down there. Now that area, because it's so warm today, has already dried so I'm going to have to soften that back in a moment. This area here needs to be a little bit softer, so a little bit of clean water and we'll just let that paint run into it when we soften it to the edge, you see, like that. And I'm going to thinly bring that wash up through there because it's going to be dark later over there. So we've got the base of the um, butterfly orange now these very light areas of blue going around here. I think we're going to do those with a bit of cerulean blue. I can use my medium brush still for this. I'll look at the body of this butterfly as well. We'll see that that can do with a wash of cerulean all the way across it before we start adding in any warmer colours to make the furry effects. We'll just get some of these linked effects of the sort of furry structure on with the wind just there before we put the very darks in there. You can see how that works now can't you? Before it gets too dry we've got to come in with some darker so I'm going to take some ultramarine and get about sienna for a couple of colours and just start looking at the dark areas of the butterfly. This body down here. into that one that's a little bit drier. Do a little bit of dry brush work here, so I'm just dragging the brush over the surface to try and get the slightly fluffy effect now. It's quite a good way to demonstrate watercolour techniques this because you can see all the various techniques going on almost in one painting. You can see the washes, the glazes, wet next to wet and so on. Now we're going down to some much darker darks and uh, mixing some 
indigo now with a bit of um, burnt sienna to really go down to some quite black blacks. To look carefully all the time and see what is actually happening. You know, is it a broken line? Is it just one block of colour or is it in fact uh, variegated or that's what's very important to look at. These shapes are supposed to be similar each side, not exactly the same but similar so darker and they've got this lovely vibrance going and that purple is just going to give it that little extra luster which the butterflies have. I've done like we did with the blue. On the top edge of those blues. Take out a bit, make that little light area again. Our tortoise shell is almost there. I want to just try a little bit of light dry brush work just over the edges here to just give a slightly more furry feel to him. So we'll leave the butterfly now and we go to the background with the oval mop. Oh, nice big oval mop. And we're going to paint the wet into wet into there. Both the darks in the background here and into the blues over here. And start the greens over there, sorry. I'm going to start with them. Um, a nice viridian on that, put that in there just to be neat. Let it blend very in. Very dark and quite strong with the amount of pigment in the paint as well now. We've got these soft wet into wet effects. So if it has gone dry I've got to get a bit of clean water and rapidly work it in and just loosen things up a bit again. And hopefully when the masking fluid is picked out we can go back to putting in these very light colours. Right, we can let that dry off. And hopefully the masking fluid when we remove it will leave the light areas that we want to paint. Now it's time to uh, rub off the masking fluid and see if we can pull this back to life. Because I know it looks a bit of a mess but I think we'll find now that we'll be able to do something with it. Now I'll go back to my medium number eight brush for this and uh, we want to have the cobalt violet on us straight away. I'm going to take a little bit of cerulean first just to drop into that edge. Of course the actual butterfly's antenna which we'll work on in a minute and make a bit smaller. I'm using a cool blue at the moment, the cerulean Cool blue, and we're going to go to a slightly warmer blue before we drop in the. We're going to go to the cobalt violet, and we'll drop in other blues. Now the cobalt violet again, um, a little bit stronger with the colours we go along. As we're tinting it in, we can afford to drop in slightly stronger and stronger amounts of the violet, cobalt, and some ultramarine even. A little bit of my butterfly's antenna there, so I'll just lift it out a bit. That's the way. Right, I've got a few darks to put in. Get some of the purple now and go in with the darker colour still. The paint's still wet, so I'm able to add a bit of sort of wet into wet into this now. And you see how that butterfly's the picture has suddenly come together now. A few more darks just on the edges here of the Petals just showing. And there we have our small tortoise shell. There we are. You'll do. As you've seen, I'm not working on them the right way up at the moment. Uh, it doesn't matter which way I work on them. I mean, the actual photograph of this is that way up there, but I'm going to do it.